So we played a festival, uh, Fête de la Musique, and we finished like right before the curfew. There was a midnight curfew, and I asked the stage manager, you know, the crowd was still there and cheering, and I asked the stage manager if we could go back, and he was like, it's only it's a one minute till curfew, so we can't really do it. And about five minutes later, nobody had left. They were still just like cheering, and then they started cheering even more, and somebody yelled, naked people! And it turned out there was this couple that had gotten completely naked and were like doing cartwheels, they were kind of up on this hill and everybody was checking him out and uh, and the crowd was just getting more and more riled up and so then the stage manager came and found us. It was This was like 10 minutes past curfew now. He's like, all right, go ahead. Partly because we are growing as people, and so we're you know we are discovering new music, and that music influences the way that our songwriting happens. I guess the biggest change from the previous records to this one to Wales and Leeches is that we essentially had no time to actually write the record. We had to prescribe ourselves several months to just focus on writing because we had almost nothing done and had studio time booked already. So it was the songwriting process was a lot different, which I guess shaped a little bit the way that the song sounded because we didn't have as much time to edit and change things um, after playing them live for a while. A lot of the songs we had never played live before and so we just kind of had to go with our gut. We realized while we were working on the last record that it probably works better to only have three of us in there at a time because when you have four you end up with two people who like something and two people who don't and so then you just get people butting heads and so then you can just keep moving and you can get something done and then just show it to the fourth person when they come to the next practice. I guess it's you know, a more organic record, more natural record. So some of the things that I've been listening to a lot recently are I listen to a lot of stuff. I basically just listen to mix. I make myself really big mixes and then just listen to a ton of different things. Uh, Ty Seagal, but then some older stuff, like I'm just kind of discovering some, you know, like I've been listening to Cherubs a lot again recently. There's a few s songs by Spoon that I really like. Uh, Helms Ali are, are a band that we played a few shows with and I wish we'd played more. The new Federation X record is really good. The new Big Business record is really good. There's a band called Sandwriter from Seattle. Their new record is really good band called Whores from uh, Richmond, Virginia, I believe. guitar when I was um, in Switzerland because I want to be able to play every day and play backstage because we want to just keep the songwriting process going. Um, we felt like we really made a lot of headway while we were writing Whales and Leeches and so we want to just like keep that creative energy going while we're on tour and so that when we get home we can spend uh, more time being productive and less time just lying around in front of the TV. So. Basically doing a lot of touring and then trying to keep up on songwriting. That's pretty much what we're up to for the rest of the year. I remember the audience at Mio Spifesta was pretty crazy for considering that it was two or three in the morning or something. I don't know what time it was when we played. It was late and uh, you know, it was a big uh, amphitheater kind of thing. So people were kind of far away. Um, but I didn't know what to expect from, from this show. And uh, honestly, it's one of my, it's way up there as far as how fun it was and, you know, connecting with the crowd and the crowd was really getting into it uh, way more than uh, I was expecting and more than a lot of crowds do. So it was really, really fun. Hopefully um, people enjoyed the show tonight and that when we come back, which I'm sure we're going to do then, that, uh, that 
plenty of people show up for the next one too because it's super fun and we love Portugal. <laughs>